Hey everybody, coming briefly out of retirement for this Muppet News Flash. Um, wanted to tell you about my experiences with uh, replacing the copy of Nevermind that I sold. So I had the ORG, uh, the original Bernie Grunman cut from, I can't remember, 2009, 2011, whatever it was. And um, sold that for stupid amounts of money, thinking that like, oh, I'll just replace it with the with current pressing of the same mastering. Um, you know. It, that cut originally came out on ORG, and then it was just, once Geffen just started putting it out, um, or whatever, is it, does Geffen still exist? Yeah. Um, that they were just using the same mastering. Um, and uh, and then the 30th anniversary edition came out, and people were wondering, is, is that the end of the Bernie Grunman cut? But then, no, apparently. I remember from maybe Mike and the Ingram video, someone saw some video where, no, well, they were still getting new shipments of the Bernie Grunman cut, so it just seemed like you could just get it still. Um, and I think you can. However, uh, here's my experience. So I went to uh, uh, Sam Walton's uh, Discount City and uh, picked this up. Um, and uh, took it out, took a look at the runouts. And lo and behold, Black Belt Levi is in there. No BG, but Black Belt Levi. So that's Levi Sites at uh, Black Belt uh, mastering in Seattle, I think I read it was, and um, this doesn't sound as good. Uh, it doesn't. It's not shit. It's fine, but it doesn't. It definitely doesn't have the the, the pop of, of the Bernie Grunman cut, um, which is uh, you know talked about as being all analog. I'm skeptical that it truly is. I have no doubt that that was cut from a from an analog master recording tape, but um, but. What made it onto that analog tape, I think, wasn't purely analog. Uh, I've read, for example, about that there was um, uh, digital uh, reverb on the drums. Uh, so I think that means that the signal has to get turned into digital. So anyway, um, and I, that's still the, the cut to get, though, right? Like, I've never heard the original pressing. I probably never will. Maybe that's better. But uh, the Bernie Grunman cut is awesome. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, and uh, I, I sold the ORG on the assumption that I could just easily replace it for a, for cheap. Um, and I, I think I still can. So I reordered it from Acoustic Sounds. They uh, list theirs as being pressed at Palace. Uh, I'm almost positive that's going to be the Burning Gremlin cut. If it's not, I'll update the, uh, the uh, what's that called? The description. Um, but uh, so you can still get it. Uh, but I wonder if this is a harbinger of, of its demise. Um, or, you know, maybe they're just separating out, like, uh, Walmart gets gets the, the, the cheap, lousy cut, and we will, um, uh, we're only going to do Bernie uh, pressings um, for, for more expensive outlets or whatever, you know. So I, that's all speculation. Just, just guessing. I just get the impression that the few are aware that there is a new cut on the block, uh, and it's this one, and it's not that great. Um, uh, so, and that's uh, that's not to to knock uh, Levi Sites. I have uh, this is something I have from Levi Sites, the Blake Baby Sunburn recent reissue. Sounds great. Um, that's it's it's all just about where's the bottleneck in the sound, and the bottleneck in the sound happened before it got to Levi Sites. He gets what he gets. It's uh, the the new Nevermind is listed as being mastered by Bernie Grunman. That doesn't mean a whole lot. It could mean that they just didn't want to invest the money in changing the graphics. Um, could also mean that it's that it's a digital file that Bernie Grunman made that then got sent to Levi Sites. Uh, that the Levi Sites then cut flat. So um, anyway, um, just thought I'd get that out there. Uh, just uh, let people know. That uh, and this, there's not even a Discogs entry for this yet. I'm going to see if I can try to um, establish one. But I, I'll, I'll be returning this album today. That's uh, this is definitely not an advertisement for Walmart. Fuck Walmart. But you can you can just take stuff back. Uh, so uh, I'll get my money back for that. And uh, cross my fingers. Hopefully I'm getting the the, the thing that I really want uh, from Chatty Cakes. Uh, okay. Uh, thanks everyone. So long.